Okay, so we got the, the fitting, uh, well, a dead eye or whatever you want to call it, for the top of the mast. That's going to be holding a pulley that's going to pull up the halyard. That's going to, the halyard is the rope that pulls up the, uh, we don't call it a rope, the sheet that pulls up the, the sail, up the top of the sail. And then in turn, then it's going, that's the bottom of the sail, uh, the, the, the boom is going to be pulled down against this, so the force. So this has to be fairly strong. So uh, I'm going to, we have already on the top of the mast, put, filled with silicon, and now we're going to drill into it, uh, eight millimeter. And through to the other one, nice powdery. This is a stainless steel, this is 316. Uh, if you can get 316 when you're doing, uh, you're doing stuff with the boat, try and get 316 rather than, uh, rather than 304. But sometimes when you're buying online, you can't get what you want, so. I'm gonna take this out again. I, I don't need to put silicone or anything in this because there's nothing in contact with wood because we have drilled through just through the epoxy. Now, so I have made my dead eye now and I'm going to put my pulley on that. Now I'm going to put a spring washer on the back of this and I'm going to try and get some stainless steel uh, nuts that have the plastic in them so that they won't open. So we're going to bring this out. I'm going to put the halyard in it and then put it onto the boat and then we are going to go inside and we're going to string up the sail. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to put the mast in. Uh, firstly, I don't have a clue about anything about sailing, and uh, uh, so I'd like to thank uh, uh, Roy Esperito and uh, um, Mick Storr, Michael Storr. Uh, he's an expat here in the Philippines, famous uh, for his lug sails, uh, for help and telling me online how to how to do uh, how, how to do the what ropes to use. So we're, I'm going to just tie them, just in order not, not, not like that. And uh, then I will put it into the boat. I will show you what I have here on the end. Now, can you see this? Yeah, so I have the dead eye and I have the pulley in it. And this is called the halyard for those that are starting off like me. So I'll just put this in. It's it's a it maybe a little bit tighter than I wanted to, but it's it it works, and uh, and it goes down just like that. Now, because some people will use a bungee to hold it in case it comes out, I don't think I need that because uh, the down hole is going to be connected to the mast. But maybe somebody else will have something different on that. So this is ready, we, we're going to make up the sail and uh, we're going to uh, lace the top of the sail and then we will be back with you when we do that. Uh, I will explain what's the different parts of the sail uh, that I get from Roy and from, from Mick or Mick, sorry, or Mick or Mick, Michael. Uh, so uh, I'm learning this from online. There's nobody here that does sailing, right? Hopefully I'll be able to teach some other people then around here and maybe get them interested in sailing themselves. So uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look high now, but when we, put the, when we put the yard on it, the yard is going up to there and coming across this way. We need to trim that knot up on the top, that's for sure. You need three to one at least to, uh, for, to pull down the down hole because you need, it, you need to get it really tight and that will make the front of the sail like a guitar string. And he says this should be, you should be able to play music nearly on this, I think he said there to somebody else. Uh, so they call it purchase. I don't know why you call it purchase, maybe because you have to buy so much stuff. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to go for four to one purchase because uh, I think that's the minimum you, I need. And I'm, not, I'm, going to, I'm beginning as well and I don't need to be, I'm not a young fella that wants to pull and pull and pull. And plus my, I'm teaching my daughter as well. I might even add, add another, uh, make it six to one later on. So how does it work? Well, th there's two different ones. We have, we, we have, uh, we have got the anchor the anchor is the part where you start pulling from, generally. So this is the anchor pulley here, the anchor block. And, and 
this is tied on to this. This is called a becket, this little piece here. I think it's called a becket. So this is tied to the bottom block of the boat. And this is tied to this. So this is basically tied to the boat, right? But because we have a pulley here and it's like an upside down crane, when we pull this one here, when I pull this here, I'm pulling, uh, I'm pulling two to one already. If it was the other way around, I wouldn't be. But uh, I'm pulling two to one. And then when I'm pulling here, I'm pulling three to one. And when I'm pulling here, I'm pulling four to one. So when I'm pulling here, I'm pulling four to one. So just to, just to prove the point that it's four to one, uh, I won't do it. I will do it in distance four to one. Uh, we will put a mark here. This is not very square, this thing here, but anyway. I put a mark here. I have a mark there. And uh, I'll put a mark on the, on the here and on the rope. And I'll put my thumb there, where the, where the line is. And I'll pull this one till this one is about four inches. I'm going to straighten it out just a little bit there. And my line here to here, four inches. Uh, just a little bit more. There we go. And then I should measure back to here to here. It should be around 16 inches. It's 16 and 1 8 inches. So it is 4 to 1 purchase or 4 to 1 uh, mechanical advantages, what we would have learned in school. We wouldn't have learned the word purchase. But in, 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 in sailing, it's called purchase. And so we're going to fit this to the block on the thing with two large screws. I know it's solid enough. Uh, I put it in myself and it's made from mahogany and it's uh, lots of epoxy and screws and that. It's not going to pull. So. Uh, this is only, I only done this for demonstration purposes, but this will be, you can imagine this is going to be our boom, and our boom is going to be got, being tight, pulled down, and the front of the sail will be really tight, and for, I think when they're racing, I'm not going to be racing, this is not a racing boat, but we will go by the, the we will go by what the experts tell me, and uh, so this will probably, we will uh, tie probably, I will, might tie two hooks to the boom, and the boom will go, uh, the boom, we can click the hooks around this then. That, that means that I can, quick release, we can take the sail off and put it into a bag if I want to. So, uh, I'm going to fit that to the boat. Now. We have uh, all the rigging done on the sail here. Uh, I'm going to put it up here. I'm not going to go sailing today. Uh, well, it's low tide here. There's only about one foot of water here. And I have to go all the way out there. Uh, and it's piping hot as always here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, pull down, I pull down, open out the, the halyard, and I put the halyard through here. From the boys, uh, I'd like some advice on, on what I'm doing, what I could do better, and what maybe uh, I'm doing totally wrong. But so this rope is great, but uh, it's harder to tie. It's so it's so hard. This uh, the lima. It's not the lima. What's it called? Spectra. So. We will just move it in here gently. The, we will lift the yard up. The boom will probably go out. I am going to make what's called lazy jacks for us later on. But at the moment, uh, no, I'm going to leave it out. So it, it will just pull up here. I'll, I have Rex with me here now. So we're caught in here. I have Rex here with me to help me. And... Uh, And that's high enough. And then we will, t uh, I will tie this in. Nice and tight. We'll tie up this and get, uh, get it out of your way because we don't need it anymore today. Uh, the hill yard. And we'll just hang it from there or something like that, you know. So, you don't want strings hanging around. I'm tied around here in loops. And now I'm going to do down hole at four to... Now, that's... I didn't put on a cleat yet because I'm not sure where to put it. So I'm going to ask uh, the boys, uh, should I put a cleat in? So, uh, for the time being, I will just tie it around this one. Temporary probably not a good idea to tie it around the same one 
I'm thinking of putting it here, uh, clam cleat. I have clam cleat. I have different type of cleat. I have this type of cleat. Uh, I don't want to put it uh, on the bottom because I think if I put it there, it will restrict uh, it will restrict the sail uh, turning around like this, you know. So, so it really should be on the boom, I think. But anyway, we'll put it here just for now, and I'll explain to you what else I'm doing here. It should not. You shouldn't have the two of these on the one. I bet you. Somebody's going to say that, but we're putting it there for now. So I'm asking you, where should I put the the the, the cleat? Whether I have a cam cleat and I have another another one. So now we're going to put on the main sheet. Yeah. It's very simple when you know how. <laughs> now I'm also not sure about here. Yeah. I have life jackets here. Uh, the, uh, I'm not a swimmer, so if we go out into the reef, it's 100 feet deep there, and my daughter's a good swimmer. But uh, no, we, it's good practice. Uh, we have our, uh, this one, problem with this one now at the moment is it, it's going to hit off this when we're going out. So we have to leave it here till we go out, till we start dropping it a little bit. The same with the, the dagger board is going to be on a bungee to the mast. Uh, Roy told me that. Thank you, Roy. <laughs> and uh, so that's our sailboat. We'll put it out into the water to give you a good look of it. We'll push it out there, Rex. Rex. So there's uh, our new boat and it's sailing away itself. It will sail away, Rex. You see, it will sail itself with nobody on it. And uh, then I will have no boat. Go on, you better run after it there, Rex. <laughs> it will sail away. Look at the boat sailing itself with no rudder. Will you go running after it there? It'll be, it'll start, if you pick up wind there, you're in trouble. So I'm going to send Rex after the boat because it's decided to sail away itself. Yeah. Uh, I can't let the rudder down. It's not deep enough there for the rudder. So I can't really actually sail along here. Well, I can sail, but I can't control where I'm... So, so that's uh, uh, Three Girls, our boat called Three Girls, our little small trimaran. It was supposed to come in at a budget for $500 in the beginning. It ended up $670. That's not including the sail now, or you know I have motor on it as well. I, have, uh, I actually have solar and a solar backup on it as well. Uh, so it went to all... I would like to thank uh, Roy and Mixer and all them that helped me along the way. Uh, I will do one more video m maybe next week sailing. Thank you everybody for watching uh, this series. It's been going on for a while, but I've been doing other jobs. You will see other, actually I have some other videos there as well. I'm making a coffee table. I'll put that up next week. Uh, I'll be back to my carpentry. And then, you know, I have a gardening channel then as well. We'd so uh, if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, I'd much appreciate it if you subscribe to uh, our humble channel here. And thank you, thank you, thank you.